Hey guys, welcome. You have to talk into that, I think. Yeah, Is you can't on? be so far back. Get get into it. Let me sit on your lap, Doug. Hug it. Oh, that's good. We need like seven. We need seven more chairs in here. That's all we need. We do. It's weird that we do have like six of them, but they're unused. They're like in a circle. <laughs> you know, two of them are facing out the window. But if we had seven more, it would we could create like an audience effect. You know, that didn't show up. It didn't show up for the show. <laughs> Is that going to hurt well, for a long time? That finger that you got there? No, that's <laughs> Welcome to the show, Goose and Clausen. No. <laughs> yeah. We got a show called Goose and... Is that what it's called? Goose and Klaus. What if this was a show? What if this was yeah, a show? Was the stars of what if, what if this was a show? That's right. We've got Doug, Doug the Man Thompson, and uh, you always have Tim, to preface it with Tim the, the Boy the Sullivan. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim the Boy <laughs> Sullivan. Oh so yeah, did you hear that? The boy. Oh yeah. Well, well I just say because one time my brother went on a. Um, a date and he, and he never had a date before and so he, 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 he was supposed to go he was supposed to go to a Huey Lewis concert with me Sports. and and, uh, and so I, I was waiting for him to like meet me for the Huey Lewis concert yes. and then he and then I didn't get his message because I was already at the Huey Lewis concert and then uh, then I listened to it during it when I was like on this one guy's shoulders cheering and <laughs> we're not wait, on a guy's was, shoulders was, wait, get the fuck out of here there was cell phones during Huey Lewis well I mean it wasn't that many years ago it was like <laughs> It was a lot of couple. No, I mean Huey Lewis isn't. He? Was it? I was couldn't it like afford that, it. Night eighty-five. Was it that giant cell phone that you have to crank? <laughs> no, yeah, because to start you're calling an airstrike. There's a couple people four clicks down. <laughs> no, because you're looking at it different. You're thinking I went. He's when, singing hard rock and roll. <laughs> ground fire. What happened with your boy? Well, so then my brother called me and he said, "Well, uh, Jim, uh, I can't uh, meet you at the concert because I'm going on a date with a girl." And I was like, what? <laughs> I thought so you were going to be in a country concert. Where's your brother <laughs> from, Alabama? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know why he talks so real. <laughs> <weird. laughs> I'll tell you this. No more French. Well, <laughs> I'm going out on a date with a bear. And I think he was doing that and to brag or something. I don't know. Like, you know <laughs> with a girl. Don't Has he, not, a date. he did not go on many dates before the no. Huey Lewis and the News was, concert? That was like his first date, I think, ever. So he, maybe that's why he didn't know how to like explain it. Do you ever see that? Uh, do you ever watch The Office? Oh yeah, yeah. That episode where he does like Crime Aid or whatever, and he's auctioning off oh, tickets God. to because to Bruce Springsteen, he... and he goes, he told me to play a bunch of Bruce Springsteen songs, and he goes, uh, he goes, they're mostly Huey Lewis and the News songs because <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the hotter rock and roll. He's like, yeah, Bruce. <laughs> That was a good episode. Well, since I'll never get this out again, that's something that's been on my mind. All right, bring Speaking it on. of Huey Lewis, and since oh. we're continuing on that topic. <laughs> that he sucks. One time I was no. watching that show, Silver Spoons. Yes. Remember that? With yes. Ricky Schroeder. Schroeder. Ricky Rode Schroeder. Uh, Alfonso Ribeiro was on there. I don't know who that is. That's Carlton. Oh, From okay. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, he's he going to win the Dancing the with the Stars. You watch that. Oh, I don't watch that. No, wrestling's on during that time. What is uh, Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> As he hides his wedding ring. Oh, he's... <laughs> Ladies, a trip. Go ahead. Oh, uh, so I Silver remember Spoons. this because this was before I was a Huey Lewis fan because he, back in like the 80s, eventually Huey Lewis became like my favorite band. But uh, before I knew who they were exactly, I was watching Silver Spoons. And then there was like some sort of, he was like listening to headphones. Like Ricky, a dream Ricky sequence. Schroeder was. Yeah. I don't know if it was a dream, but it, but he had, I don't remember if he had a mom. I don't remember the whole premise exactly of the show. I, I know think it was dad. like there were two rich people. Okay, yeah, and, and, and he had so a I don't black remember, friend. But did he have a mom? Or maybe, I don't think. He, I think it was maid. like a single dad scenario. Yeah, and then so somehow there was a lady there, and she was trying to figure out what he was listening to, and he kept telling her all these things, and then eventually he says, "Yeah, I'm listening to Huey Lewis and the News," and then she said, "Oh well, at least you're listening to something educational." So what was that? <laughs> I thought it was your. What brain. is with your soda to... bottle? What What is that that you're drinking, anyways, Doug? <laughs> like Doug, has a, uh, Doug has a Doug uh, has a urinary Cranberry. tract infection. Yeah. So oh, is that what you're? It's, he's it's, uh, yeah, you don't want to get he's drinking stones. tons yeah, of missing. cranberry right now. <laughs> I don't think that's. So we are at uh, APCA, the yeah. uh, college conference, and uh, all three of us are managed by the same dude. Are we? Uh, are we being filmed? 
like video. Oh man, That's this is like. Oh, I didn't know. This I, is I, like. I didn't agree to this. This is like <laughs> double. Uh, this is double media. This is audio and video. We're laying it all down. This on the is going to be clicked together. People are going to realize. So, Doug, know. what what was the first impression that you ever learned how to do? Uh, Jonathan Winters. Was, really? Yeah, it was the first album my dad had a Jonathan Winters Wings It album. I don't think I've ever heard you do Jonathan Winters. I well, nobody knows it. You know, like Mod Frick. I love Jonathan, Jonathan Winters. Oh, great. Can you do the the duck bit? I don't know that one. That thing. Oh, where he's talking about hunting. Yeah, like fishing. He does it with fishing. Oh. Like the first one I really remember was he would talk. He was doing deer hunter. Yeah. And he'd be like, ah, guys, this year we're gonna get a deer. We're gonna get a deer this year, guys. <laughs> Last year, you know, I don't know. Ted, why don't you go hang out in that tree? I don't like the tree. There's uh, willy worms. Ted, just hang out in the tree. I'm I'm tired of tired of taking home a half a fish or a bear. <laughs> This year we're gonna take something home, and you know at the end he's going, oh look at that, look at that, that's a ten point buck. And he goes, <laughs> ricochets it back. <laughs> God damn, cast iron deer. Somebody put him on the bumper. We're taking something home this year. <laughs> on the back of the bonnet. That's good, man. Oh god. <laughs> Me and Tim one time we're we're driving. Well, first of all, we did this show, and this lady was so drunk. It was called The Rock. It was a bar. Yeah. And she came up to me and said, you suck. I'm like, oh, thanks. It's good to have a fan. In the middle of his show. Yeah. Right up, right up on the stage. Which no, we, well, the, no. stage the stage I was in front really? of. Really? Yeah. I was in front of dartboards. It was, yeah. They handed me a right. microphone and said, here you go. It was through a guitar amp. I started talking. No sound check. Oh, my God. And it started reverb. And I go, uh, I think you got the reverb on on the amp. Oh, yeah. We don't know. I got to play it last night. <laughs> so then... During my show, she does that. So afterwards, she goes, you need to make fun of more people. I'm like, uh, did you see the amount of gun racks in the trucks out here? I am not making fun of anybody in this town. So Look she, at this guy's beard. Boom. Yeah. She walks up during his set and takes the mic from him. He's like, no, Oprah doesn't give the mic away. So her oh friend chokeholded her and pushed her down the stairs. And I'm like, I'm talking to some guy. I'm like, who is this lady? Oh, she's the nurse in town. <laughs> oh my god! I hope nobody gets injured tonight. Oh my god, man. So yeah. then I scored out. I scored pretty good that night because uh, we did Irish car bombs with the owner, and then and then their house was like right next door, and then she set, started talking about how her husband was up late one night and ordered a bunch of knives on that <laughs> knife show. Yeah, it always does the phone calls. So every, the Ginsu <laughs> knives. Every, but every month he would like get a new knife or a sword or something like that. <laughs> And I'm like, I have a picture of that. So yeah, and then I'm like, are you kidding me? And she's like, yeah, no, you could you could have a sword if you want. We, we usually give them away for like presents and stuff or whatever because we get so many of them. So I went next door and I come back over to the bar and I'm like, oh, the samurai sword. Yeah, and I got no, a it's like a cone and the barbarian it's like, sword. It's like a huge, a huge sword. Do you still have yeah, it? Yeah, I still do. That's, that's my, fucking great. <laughs> that's my weapon. I don't have a gun or anything, so that's what I use as my weapon. Could you imagine somebody breaking into your house and you're like, oh. time to die. <laughs> You're down. Where are you going? I just need to get like a... Welcome to California. Case to pull it out so it sounds like... <laughs> we had to pack Can it. Can you wield it? Isn't it you really heavy? Yeah, it. I mean, it's got a little handle around your wrist, too, so you can kind of... But it's got to be really heavy. It's, it's kind of heavy, solid yeah. steel, right? It's, it's kind of heavy. heavy. <laughs> you lift one of those, like, old medieval swords, and you're like, damn, these fuckers were ripped. Yeah, yeah. well, this was like... It's like, probably like... I mean, we're not. I don't want to get. I don't know. We got your video going there. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know if hand gestures will work on the podcast, yeah, Tim. It's, like, it's about it's like yay a, high. It's like a musky, a, a baby musky. <laughs> but oh, a northern pike, if you have north. That, that wasn't even the Dirt gist of the, the story. Where we brought it up is because when we were driving to the next gig. Well, first of all, we had to stay in a cabin. Oh yeah. We didn't even know whose cabin it was. I think. I oh wait, me. was that the story you were telling me yeah. yesterday? Where they're like, they're like you're, you're staying here. Cabin. We're like, yeah. what? The, you know, anybody could have walked in while we're sleeping. Yeah. But we had to pack that thing, and I remember we were thinking, well, we can't just have this in the trunk. If we got pulled over and a cop, oh, can you open the trunk? <laughs> There's that sword. Yes. Oh, my God, dude. That's fucking hilarious. But we're driving, and I got a picture of this somewhere, too. I got a picture of that sword, but we're driving, and we're looking like, what is that? We're in Minnesota. There's a, like a red Bonneville with something on the trunk. And we're like, what? It was two deers, 69ing, like head to ass. <laughs> Tied to the trunk of this Dad stared, one was staring right at us as we drove by. All I could, and I didn't, I mean, we took pictures, but we took, I didn't want to be close when we took yeah. pictures. Because, what the fuck are you taking pictures of my deer? So. Those are my ladies. Oh. 
We're about to have a threesome red? tonight. Yeah. Well, red Bonneville, I think. Red or gray. Yeah, but I just couldn't believe that not only one, but two deers. I mean, you never see them tied back to a trunk of a car. You know, <laughs> no, like they put them on the roof yeah. or the front <laughs> or whatever. Pontiac. Can you imagine pulling into the rest, like a rest stop, and kids getting out of their car? Oh my God, Mom! And then <laughs> they didn't even have antlers. I think one had antlers. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the next hotel. They were so small, oh. he just choked them out. And it was dark. <laughs> he didn't even <laughs> shoot them. <laughs> just one handed yeah. choked the deer to death. <laughs> <an> MMA fighter. <laughs> the next hotel we went to, Tim walked. He goes, well, "I'll go in and check us in." You can tell. That oh, story. yeah, and then so I walk in, and then there's no cars in the parking lot. Borat was in And the then the, the whole, like, <laughs> lobby and everything is completely, it's like 3 in the afternoon, but it's completely dark. There's not, like, a light on yeah. or anything. I'm like, is this an abandoned hotel or what? And I, like, walk in, I'm looking around, and then finally this guy comes up. Hey, can I help you or whatever? And then I said, oh, uh, <laughs> I help you or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm here to check in or whatever. And then so we uh, check into our room. And then after we get checked, he's, I say, we're doing the comedy thing across the street or whatever. And then so once we get up to the room, I think, Doug, didn't he call, like, up to the room? And he was like, when you go over to your comedy show, yeah. make sure you turn the lights off or whatever. No, don't, don't leave the light on. <laughs> and we're like, what in the hell? <laughs> and then uh, so, and then, uh, so we're like, they were like conserving energy in this whole, this guy was like so cheap. He was like, turned every light off in the hotel and even called us to tell us not to leave lights on. He's like, if you're oh, in the room man. and you have the TV on, don't have the lights on because you can see fine with the TV and everything. Have and you then, ever had that before? When I've had it before sometimes where you stay in like a family owned like roadside motel or something and you'll leave. And like, I like to leave the TV on when I leave. Yeah. So people think that somebody's in there oh, yeah. so they don't break in. I've had times where I've left the room, gone to the show, and come back, and all the lights and the TV are off in my room. Like, somebody went in there and shut everything no. off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're ramping up to your story? All right. Well, first of all, I was playing my guitar, and he goes, and Tim goes, yeah, he said, do I hear strings of a guitar? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> so the next day, we leave. We are not even got our stuff in the trunk. They're in our room cleaning it. What? It was like, and we they like immediately the were looking at, out at like, us. They were like in there within seconds in that room, like cleaning it. There's or were they in the closet in across Egypt. the hallway? We are stars. peering out the crack, like, go, 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 go. <laughs> go now. Run to get the room. It's like the NASCAR cleaning crew. The, the TV is still on. <laughs> hurry, hurry. <laughs> the. the, the, the the shampoo in there yeah. was in like a mayonnaise packet, but it wasn't even the same hotel's <laughs> name on there. Oh, there. yeah. That's always great. What the hell is going on? Well, you're like, you have days in soap and like Ramada shampoo. Oh, and it, it's was, like, it was American. American. Jeff. You got to take this. It's, it's Jeff. What, oh. Why don't you take it on the podcast? Oh, I can take it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if We're not. I don't know what this phone, isn't. Phone uh, protocol is on a podcast. Trust me, this, you, is, you this isn't professional. Well, he John. just missed. I missed his call. Oh, well, what time what is, is it? He's, oh, it's eleven yeah, ten. I'm sure he he probably he's wants. In line hey, you're already. live on the uh, Mark Pujols podcast right now. <laughs> the, no H, it's Pulos. <laughs> Pou, I, 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 I called him like the uh, Albert guy. It's called unbridled enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're up in the room. Up, up in the eight fourteen. Oh God, let's get him. Is he back. coming? Well, yeah. this ain't live. No, no yeah, come on up, live. Jeff. Oh, uh, north or south? There's no north tower. North. The tower. tower. Eighth floor, Clean tower. Down in, down in floor. East Germany where they're breaking down yeah. the wall. Is he coming up here? He's coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Mark yesterday. What, did Scott so, and his son leave? Wait, no. So how did, okay, now oh. get, I want to get the pronunciation ready. And now say, what did I say? And then what? You said the pool host. Pool, I said pool host. Like the baseball player, but okay. my last name is Poulos. Poulos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All this time I've been saying pools. Yeah. And it's Poulos. Mr. Sullivan. Poulos. Poulos. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sullivan. Doug Timpson. <laughs> Doug Timpson and uh, Tim Sullivan are here. Gustin Klaus and uh, <laughs> Gus Fierskin's comments. Do you some comments here? Oh, God, yeah. We never thing. told you what happened. See that, what? see that building down there? Look Somebody got there. hit? No, no, no. A plane look. crashed in there? Look no, at that building. No. Yeah, I see it. It's destroyed. So our room was down the first floor yesterday. It was in one of those? You, open, you literally <laughs> opened the door, and there was a giant bobcat, like, tearing concrete up. And oh, so, oh, God, you scared me. I thought door. you meant like a giant bobcat, like an animal. Like no, tearing. no, like the, <laughs> like, like, con too. Like the construction like, equipment. Crap, frightening. We, our room, we came back, and I go, this doesn't seem right. And I put my hand across. There was this white dust everywhere. 
Because it, it was, like construction, like concrete and stuff, was blowing in through the vents down there, and our whole room was covered in like concrete dust. So I set a glass of water out while we left for a while. I came back when we came back. I go, <laughs> it looked like a Seven Up from all the like stuff in there. You know, oh like, my god, it's like it Alka Seltzer yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I called them up. I was like, what the fuck? And they were like, all right, we'll move you to a different room. And this room literally is twice the size of the first room. So that can we you were imagine? In. Six oh foot God. seven and the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, this we're trying to like go past each other each and other. rub and butt to crotch. Wow, it was yeah. horrible. Some of man. those rooms don't look too good. Well, we weren't in those. Oh. I think they're tearing those down, oh, those Tim. <laughs> okay, oh. <laughs> we had a great. We, we could really smell I, this. I, I feel like they're gonna implode like, those rooms. Oh, okay. yeah, I was like, I wouldn't use the balcony. <laughs> on those. They're pretty unstable. Well, there's no railing. Like shingling coming down. <laughs> now you're a fan of like old comedy. Do you ever remember a guy named Bob Nelson? Oh yeah, the, oh the, yeah, the Bob Nelson. You know what, Bob you Nelson? Story of him? I worked with him. Okay, yeah. what, did he and talk about Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Did you work with did him? You see well, the seriousness on, did he talk did about, he talk about, Jesus? about well, I mean, Jesus? I mean, I, when I was a kid, when I watched Johnny Carson, when he was on, I was like, this guy's amazing. It's awesome. You know, like he did this whole Jiffy Jeff thing or whatever yeah. the heck he did. And then and that, that was when I was a kid. And then I went to see him like years later when I was an adult. And then. I got to see it. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. And then, but then after after he got done doing his thing, like this, like at the end of his show, he's like, all right, now we need to take a time to tell you about Jesus and stuff. And and then I was like, what? Mm-hmm. So, you know, why is he talking yeah, about Jesus? That's and, pretty rough. And so he really got into like Jesus pretty and all rough. this. And, and it was trying like, to convert everybody yeah. in the room. And so and then, but then it, the only, I was like, you might be able to. I, I don't know if he's listening to this. Hopefully not. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I was know, like, you might be able to convert to people Trust if you me. if you. <laughs> he was, but he, he kept looking at pool hosts. Yeah. <laughs> P O J K. I just thought he would have had a better oh. chance of converting people if he had converted his act since 1985. <laughs> well, that was the thing. I saw that HBO special <laughs> the, the where he did pads. the shoulder pads yeah. and he did the the duck the duck that he catches the duck, you know, and he's like, "Please don't kill me," yeah. you know, that whole thing. And then uh, it and was all the exact same. I, I mean, it was literally to be a like tight end. the exact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I worked with Kevin Meany, and his he came. We came out of the closet like right before we did our show together. Yeah. What? I listened like to the, next the morning. Yeah. That, I mean, like, I listened. He turned to you and he goes, "Doug, I gotta say it. I over. am gay." <laughs> and then he runs on stage. Here comes Jeff. He walks in. He just hears you saying, "Doug, I gotta say it. I am gay." <laughs> Doug, I am gay. I'm not, I'm not uh, representing any of yeah. you guys. But anyways, uh, he was doing a lot of his old set. You want to switch seats? No, I'm fine. Well, I'm good. Sit up there then. What, what happened to oh. uh, What happened to my Larry Bird pen? Larry Bird pen? You well, probably dropped it in the your toilet sock. with your poop. Oh, it might be in there. It might have been in the toilet. So uh, <laughs> we do this week together, but his set's kind of from the 80s. Yeah. You know, he did a We Are the World, but God, he destroyed, killed. But at the end of the week, we're sitting there talking and doing all this stuff. And I said, well, I'll see you. And I went to put shake him. He goes, we need to hug. This is like oh. after a bunch of beers and... And he, he said, turn around. He was the opposite. <laughs> we need to hug. Why does it feel like we're riding a toboggan? <laughs> <laughs> is that to... somebody knocking or is that my oh, pop yeah. bottle? They, they aren't appreciating it. Who? The neighbors. Sven? Or it could be the construction crew. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's somebody pounding over there. No, like. get out of here. Yeah. That's what they're saying. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I heard a muffled, get out of here. I think it's Kevin Mimi. It's 11 a.m. It's Kevin Mimi trying to We can't to get be loud closet. in our room. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's already out. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Are you putting your set in the back of I'm, your phone thing? I don't know yet. What the hell? You, you always make up these crazy like concoctions. Carry, yeah, I like to carry stuff with me. I haven't decided yet. My set's kind of up in the air. Like normally, I I have. Did I, you did you want to take a step back from the podcast and work on your set? No, I don't want to feel like I'm uh, no, taking I, you back. I can do that during the podcast. It should be. Oh, okay. <laughs> his, he said his set's usually up in the air. Literally, he tapes it to the ceiling oh. and he keeps looking up. Uh. Someone's uh, got it hanging from like a fishing hook. Like <laughs> no, the. Uh, <laughs> Don't get crusty, bro. Well, <laughs> take it the, easy. I, I, I hadn't had my set in question until mm. I heard about the guy doing pubes, and now it makes me want to get some, see wow. if I think about any more pubes. Well, I didn't have no. your set in question. I don't, I don't want that. I, I wrote something on the way here. <laughs> uh, I don't want that to uh, impede your Yeah, well, don't talk your about sets. pubes. I guess. Because so, most kids shave these. Well, as Jeff says, like. I had the, a couple of jokes about my family, but then I, like, not really family, but my sisters and, and or whatever, but it's sort of, like, women-related, so yeah. I didn't have to necessarily apply just to my sisters. It could kind of apply to 
all women. Well, so that's, I was it's about, very lady heavy here. Yeah, I'll say I that. Figured, so, so that's why I was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. But then now I was kind of like wondering. Did you, just, did you just do a fat joke? <laughs> no, like oh, lady quantity. Heavy. quantity. I know you're not. Saying. Not uh, kilograms. Yeah, I said, take it easy enough. Well, you were saying that like you got to take these kids out and buy them drinks to get gigs or whatever. Yeah, well, like I'm, what... I'm hanging out with some of these kids after the show, and I'm like, I don't think any of these kids no. really party like well, college I didn't kids say party. Buy drinks. I think Jeff might have misinterpreted when I said oh, buy drinks. Okay. I just said you have to kind of hang out with them and talk with them and like. Yeah, you know, which is kind of like the, kind of the like, booth thing yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, like yeah. you just like that, talk kind of like about you were it. Saying, or whatever, that's yeah. like more important, almost than doing yeah. shows. To, you know, but to, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like the the two sessions or the one session that we did, like exhibit wise, I felt like uh, they're like a redheaded stepchild because like nobody wanted to talk to me because I hadn't done my set yet. Yeah, no I one knew. Like you the, see my hair color. <laughs> Your hair's hair not that? red, is it? Yes, it's really. You can't see that. Well, it's it looks red. brown. Did you dye it, or is it naturally? Do you put stuff in your hair? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I always thought you put stuff in your hair. Brown headed. You thought I child. colored my hair? You sh- you're well, kidding me. I thought you me. put highlights. And you, you went to oh your my gosh. Oh and, man. And, and, and your beard. I thought maybe you put like blonde. Yeah, highlights right. In your beard too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you highlight your hair, Tim? Yeah. Of course he Why does. Why wouldn't I? Do you I, really? I have... I, no, I don't. I wish I could. I don't have anything anymore. It's it's pretty much the same color. Pretty much gray. No, it's not gray. <laughs> Looks so How natural. Old are you, Tim? No one can I tell. I don't like to disclose that information. Oh. <laughs> I don't like to disclose that information. That's not our pizza. Tell him to get out of here. Are you? Oh, look who's here. It's getting weird. Look at those eyeballs. We got a couple of piss holes in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of piss holes in the snow. <laughs> How did it go, Jeff? Fantastic. It was weird. It was cool. Yeah, you signed some deals for me. Yeah, get out of here. No, Kirkwood, Cedar Rapids. Good That's it. Want to book Mark Pulos? <laughs> Pulos, we figured out. Tim yeah, called. Yeah, I was saying it wrong. Pool, it's Pulos. 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 We had a talk in his. I, I think what you're saying it say right. He right can... now, Mark Pulos. Just so you know, that's what we were living by yesterday. See that East Germany wall that's getting busted down. <laughs> if you want to see what our room looked like, I can cough it out on the counter. So we're up to three now? Four? Holy shit! Drinks are on me. Water's all around. I'm gaining weight, (laughs) losing my hair. Anybody raise their paddle for (laughs) old Doug Thompson? No, because they did it wrong. They said, how about Doug T? Nobody? Okay. They didn't even say hypnosis. I said to him, I go, hey, when you do it next time, I said, would you please say Doug T, hypnotist? Because people don't know who Doug T is. Are you kidding me? It was frustrating. (laughs) And then they go, how about Mark Poulos? Oh. <laughs> Gold, baby. Go, Tim Sullivan. He's on at lunch. <laughs> right. He's not at lunch. Or... He's on at lunch. Oh, anybody they, lunch. anybody oh. they hadn't seen, nobody did. Just, they didn't, Jesus, you know? this fucking guy's out to lunch. Is that what they said? Nobody, nobody bid on anybody. That... Fucking Christ. <laughs> it's not just a fucking Doug T. <laughs> well, what he is. This fucking place. Are you kidding me? What are they? <laughs> no, that's what they did. They go... How about Doug T? Who the okay. fuck is that? USA Entertainment, yeah. Doug T? Okay, how about Mark Pulos? Oh, my I like, oh, I think that God. one was Doug T. Nope, Mark Pulos. Like, <laughs> they didn't even like, say Doug T. Hypnotist, which I'm like, people don't didn't even know. So yeah. Kind of maybe, it, maybe it'd be better if they just omitted your name and just said, how about the hypnotist? <laughs> well, I'm, like- I'm sure it'll be better. I think it'll be better tonight. Because Nothing, like the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like branding. Nothing like branding. Like Guy a, who hypnotizes people. Like yeah, I'll that, take him. We joke I'll take about, him. Uh, the cassette tape at the dollar store that has the music on it. It's like, and then the one that's blank. It's like your voice is making this, this <laughs> worth less worth money. Less money. <laughs> well, no, the uh, it'll probably be better tonight. You get the meet and oh, greet thanks. at two thirty. You know, thanks so. for the charity, Mark. No, come on, that's no, what I'm saying. Said, most people don't book right now. They book tonight. Yeah, oh, great. You're gonna go up to fifty, and I'm gonna have one. <laughs> Who's Doug T? They go. Kirkwood goes. Is that the guy who lives here in Cedar Rapids? I go. No, that's Doug T. <laughs> I go. Mark's out of Minneapolis. <laughs> oh, we don't want the guy from right here. Can yeah. we get the guy that we gotta pay to? We don't want to get the guy that uh, smells like ADM when he comes in. I gotta, I gotta revel a little bit, Doug. Like, I don't have days like this often. So, well, you yeah, didn't hear well. how well Warren B. Hall did. No. Oh, shit. How many hands went up for Warren B. Hall? 
He got um, he got a lot of. No, he didn't have a lot. He had like two. Oh, two right. well, maybe. See, there you go. He was, yeah, I, I talked about gonna, pubes well, and said room, shit. He was in the room too, and I didn't think he was gonna get any. And he goes, hey! he's in the back <laughs> yelling, oh. and everybody's like, <laughs> "What? Maybe that's what you maybe, should be doing." Uh, uh, hey, hey, yeah, hey. Uh, maybe you I have to turn the smoke machine on. That's what you need to do, Doug T. And you just walk through it. This is the guy, the Kirkwood guy. So I said. He goes, I go, I got a couple other guys on here. God, you're moving that around like a magician. This is Kirkwood guy right here. Follow us. Is this this your car? I might not be moving to you. Head might be kind of scrabbled there, buddy. Whatever. (laughs) Your eyeballs, dude. Are we going to Jacksonville? Jackson. We going to oh, Jacksonville Jackson? for nationals? I don't know. That's like a c- country song, isn't it? We going to Jacksonville. That's like Tim's brother when he went to the Huey Lewis concert. <laughs> uh, well, I can't go to Jacksonville because I'm going on a date with a girl. <laughs> I'm going know. on with he a girl. Said, he said he had a cell phone during a Huey Lewis concert. Impossible. I don't care. It could have been in oh, space. Oh, you didn't have a cell phone. I guess who opened for him? Train. Train open for him. And this was after Train actually train. had like some hits. Get uh, out of here. Yeah. So it Tim, was, Tim was on his iPad Dude, listen, and he was Spotifying and that. Instagramming. <laughs> he was Spotifying and Instagramming. <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> You know what? Anybody Doug, for duck tea? You know what? Duck tea? I didn't. I didn't tell you this. I've been hypnotized before, Sleep. and when you were doing the thing at the beginning of the show, I had to literally like look someplace else because I was starting to get hypnotized so you didn't just again. Look somewhere else, you literally look somewhere. I else. had to literally. You looked literally. at your penis. That's where I. Look. Well, I looked at Scott's <laughs> magnificent. So did Kevin Meany. <laughs> I looked at Scott's magnificent jawline while he you were does, doing that. Man. God, did man, you ever that guy is just. Long hair? Ch- yeah. Yes. I've known Scott since uh, uh, Jeff and him were working with Yoder on the Brass Ring in Dubuque. Oh, Scotty T? Yeah. Did you say Scott who? Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about Scott yeah, and Bodney. I, I knew Scott oh, a long time ago. Uh, no. <laughs> even before I ever did the Brass Ring for Yoder or whatever. I uh, Really? I knew Scott because he was friends with this other friend of mine, and so I met him on a bachelor party. And we were all in a bus, and I was like, in there, like, hey, you should meet Scott. He does something with comedy. And I was like, oh, yeah, it looks like White Snake <laughs> yeah, up white there snake. in the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's my cherry again. pie. <laughs> Did you sleep with your contacts in? No, my my right eye's been all messed up. It was up messed up yesterday. Oh, yeah, they, uh, at two a.m. I used to go. I used to go I up every time and be like, night, "Look at this guy. Before. He looks like the lead singer of Zeppelin." Oh my god! And he used to right? get pissed because I would I would say it every time. Where's he at? He went, he went home. I sent him a text this morning. I go, what are you up? What are you doing, bud? You going to get together? No, we're on our way home. He, just uh, said, he goes, it's supposed to be nice out, so we're going home. So, uh, okay. It's supposed to be yeah, nice out. What are they? Stick around, made no sense at all. Yeah. Scotty by the way, T, come back. By the this way, Tim, I, uh, I, I owe you for one shirt. Oh, you wore it? Well, so no, some kid so took it last <laughs> night. <laughs> some kid show. took it last night. He took it. Well, I handed it to him, but he took it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of my shirts and he was like, How about that one? And I go, oh, All right. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's a bloodbath in there. You got to crease the palms as much as you can, man. If you tell, if you're going to give away shirts, they'll fucking, they will yeah, rush. So I'm going to do that. They will oh rush your table. At least a, how about Tim Sullivan, the guy that gave away those neon shirts or whatever? Come on, at least I can get that going. How many did you Anybody bring for with? Doug T? Who? <laughs> Who? Anybody for I thought, Doug I, T? I literally thought there was going to be 10 people because that show went so good last night. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Well, I think that's the thing. Is hey, is this window know. drilled shut? Because I might be jumping <laughs> Don't out. you jump Why out of here, Dougie. Step back from the ledge, my friend. I'm going to leave my uh, these things here. Anyway. Perfect. You'd, you'd oh, God. God. A good idea. Is the screensaver for your phone a WrestleMania star? Yeah. It's actually, I was at WrestleMania. Your it's shirt's got pubes. I was on at it. I, I was at WrestleMania nine. Nine. Was that in Minneapolis? Caesar's Palace, Vegas, oh, outside, one. where Hulk Hogan. Hart, Hogan. Yes, Hogan. I was main Stop. floor, fourth oh row. God, this is, is the crazy. story I've told on the podcast before, but since you're a huge oh. wrestling fan, I'll tell it to well, you. I show Jeff my Larry Bird song. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're at the casino. We're at the Mirage, and it just opened in Vegas. Are we doing a hypnosis skit? No. Imagine yourself at the casino. Uh, <laughs> so my dad had lost so the much Mirage. money at the Mirage that uh, we found out that WrestleMania was at Caesar's Palace next door. And we were like, Dad, we want to go to WrestleMania. He calls the, the guy down there, and he's like, 
Is there any chance we can get four tickets to this WrestleMania thing as much that's as next to us? Sir, we're getting you backstage. <laughs> Limo and four tickets. That's Dang. how much money he lost. He lost thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, trying to be funny. And Dang. they were like, "Here you go." So f- floor seats. Limo ride over there. It was next door. They drove us over That's in a limo. Awesome. I'm going yeah. to have to look for you on the video. And see I'm not on it, but oh. my sister, she, you know, you don't know who my sister is, but uh, when I, Hulk Hogan comes down first, she hangs over the side and, like, slaps him on the arm, and that's, like, the only person you see on the thing. My brother was so pissed because we were there and he was home. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> it was yeah, amazing, yeah, man. Yeah. Dude, when, when Hulk took the belt from Yokozuna, like, that immediate challenge, like, I challenge you right now, yeah. and he beat him in, like, three seconds, yeah. he flexed for 46 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, the cameras went dead. He was still flexing. <laughs> They brought him out the other night after Raw to flex for a while with uh, John Cena. Get out of yeah, here. Hulk Hogan came back. It was in Kansas City, I think, or whatever. How many times has Hulk Hogan And then Mick Foley was back? back on Raw the other night, too. They brought him up. Well, yeah, he he tells us he was he telling that story when you guys were on the road about how he was telling McMahon to fuck off, and then they started the WWE network, and he's like, Wait, "Hey, McMahon, uh, how's yeah. how's it going?" Because <laughs> he's yeah. like, "It's going to be a shit ton of money or whatever." Yeah, that's what he was like. I'll probably get back in in with them. I'm going to have to get back in with them at some point. But did they take what, their food gonna, tickets? We have to get they could have gave now? him his food tickets. I don't care about food right now. Are oh, you talking about Scotty? Yeah. You going to go run your set? I gotta get my T-shirt out of my car. How many? Yeah, now, that you, now that you're missing one. How many you bring it in? to pool can host. I, can I sit him at the booth? If pool host hit a home run with your booth? shirt, Jerry. Sure. Uh, it's locked right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They keep it locked because there's like. So don't lose your lanyard. Jeez. Whoops. I mean, I'll go grab one out of the car so that people know what it looks okay. like. Or should I just say? Sure. Well, there's still one hanging. Sure. <sighs> I can't get there. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, the exhibits at two thirty. Well, guys. Wrap this I, th- I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We've hit the 35 minute mark, so right, I think we're yeah, going to. If, if not, then if it wasn't for this, I would have been. We, this would have turned into a WrestleMania podcast here. So. <laughs> <It really was. laughs> next time, next yeah, time we're farewell. together, we're going to go wrestling well, podcast. Just talked to from Kirkwood. Farewell, Kino. Mike Brody. Mike Brody. Oh. Mike Brody. He's a. Com- Comedian. <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's so like when we were waiting in line for lunch, I looked over and I was like, "Oh my God, Mike Brody!" That's the guy from Kirkwood. That's the guy that bo- bo- Mark Pulos. <laughs> Anybody for Doug King? <laughs> if you guys are looking for an amazing hypnotist show, please check out Doug T on the internet. Is w- that your web? www.youaresleepy.com. Is that your website? Yeah. Oh, cool. But it's the U and R and then sleepy. Yeah, okay. So Tim? Oh, mine's just timsullivancomedy.com. Do you guys have Twitters? Yeah, yeah. at Doug T Comedy. That's mine, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's good. No, it's uh, the like, Tim Sullivan. Just like your girlfriend. The, the Tim Sullivan. <laughs> that's mine, too. And the, uh, the, is it a YouTube channel where you do the... Uh, oh, yeah. If you go, uh, oh. what if this was a show, the channel, what if this yeah. was a show, you can see okay. us doing our... Yeah, our skits. <laughs> <laughs> and a- after the after the credits of this podcast, I'm going to put on your uh, your phone call with the uh, oh, Democratic yeah, guy, phone call. so you people can check awesome. that out. Awesome. So yeah, <laughs> what is it titled on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. I, it's I, on our "What If This Was a Show" page, so you can oh, go on okay. to "What If This Was a Show" YouTube okay. page, and cool. it's on there. Is that where it's you on? clicked it on? There. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. <laughs> I don't know. Jeff Johnson. Yes, Mas- sir. Master of bookings what's and your, what's your manager to the stars. Yeah. Anything to say? Account? I don't know what it is. I, I get somebody that does it, but I don't even know who does it. She does it, but I don't know what it is. USA Entertainment Agency for she all the bangs. best acts for your college you and entertainment this needs. Today? Are you checking out? No, we've got it for tonight. You want to yeah. stay with us? Like I said, I want to keep this in here. Well, we're gonna need some you can, money you can cuddle up with Doug. I put it in by the Bible. Under the Bible? Book of Mormon. I don't trust the Mormon book. All right, we're wrapping that one. Thanks, guys. All right. What a great show. I was texting you. Nobody's fucking answer me. It's like, call my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was texting one you. One of those dog bastards. Where the, where the fuck are you guys? I can't believe it. Anybody for Doug T? Your camera's still going. Oh. Hi. Oh, let's see. Holy weather. Um, all right, I'm gonna run off the car and grab a T-shirt so I can show oh. them what kind of T-shirt they can get for free. And maybe I should, I don't know, or maybe I shouldn't grab a T-shirt. Maybe I'll just tell them about. It. No, you want to show? Want to show them? Yeah. yeah I don't throw it off stage right. either. They got a time. They got a, a countdown timer right up front. Ten minutes. Um, I think you're up fourth or fifth. 
Yeah, we looked that up. He's following a, a unicyclist with juggy cleavers. Uh, uh, <laughs> following Noel Gallagher. Who? <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, one, Anybody? Three, that's four, five, that's six, six, the uh, the right? MC to open yeah, the yeah, show last. I night. like how you wrote to me. The MC to open the show last night. He was a guitar actor and played uh, that Oasis song. Yeah. yeah. Wonder Wall. I, I think you went fucking of bonkers. I got a Wonder Bra. You want me to come out and play it while you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would be my be too dirty. But we should play it at the exhibit later. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody for Doug T? Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty laid-back podcast. I feel so disappointed. Oh, I was like, I thought you were going to get so much action, and they just they didn't explain it. They put it up there so quick, and I was like, what? It's terrible. Yeah. Hopefully those people are also sleeping. Jacksonville for Nationals? Nice. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Nice force. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he just fucking shit. trying to debate if I need a shit before I... You're not <laughs> shitting there. Dude, go, last night, fish, go to the first floor. There's beautiful too much facilities too down much there. Pressure. I walked okay, in yeah, last yeah. night, yesterday, into our room. And oh, like, sorry about that. What the hell is that? Did you <laughs> fart? He goes, I took a shit. I ran up here and just ruined the bathroom. It like <laughs> snuck up behind me and clipped me in the ear. <laughs> All right, so noon, noon lunch. Noon yeah, lunch. I'm gonna run to the shower. Be down there. You need to run to the shower. Run through. Oh. Run through the shower.